Hey guys, uh, I'm back again. I just uh, we're doing a, a diesel X5. Uh, we're having some EGR problems. I don't know, maybe somebody out there can help us. Uh, I'm using a bypass uh, from the EDS wave. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. So this is the bypass cable right here. And then it has uh, two leads that come off it. Uh, there's two signals obviously that come with it. We're testing one. Uh, so we have the Pico hooked up right now. And we're running around 200 milliseconds per division. Uh, it looks like we have a decent square wave. Um, it looks like the voltage drops a little bit. This could be noise, I don't know. So then uh, we got our service bolt in here. Uh, let's see. So basically Mitchell is saying uh, if the vacuum supply is satisfactory, uh, replace the EGR cooler and bypass the valve return spring. It might be defective. Uh, so it looks like we're getting the correct signal. Uh, so we're guessing it's probably going to be the, uh, the spring. So uh, we'll do some more testing, but I wanted to get a uh, quick video out there. Just uh, uh, That's a DTC coming up uh, right here, 4873. Um, and it's the exhaust gas recirculation cooling. So I'm not 100% uh, on diesels, but um, that's what we got right now. And here's the uh, code coming up on the hotel. So, uh, so yeah, so that's it. We're gonna uh, we're gonna take off the EGR and clean it, clean the spring, and uh, see if that helps. So this was a lifesaver because there's nowhere to really scope into. So if we didn't have this uh, breakout lead, we wouldn't have been able to test it right from right from the uh, actual circuit. So. So and, uh, both signals are coming at the same uh, the return and the primary. So yeah, so uh, that's it. We'll give you an update once uh, once we get going here. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.